Hi, everyone. Welcome to Tangled Time Arts. This is Nana. I'm happy to be here with you today looking at our next tangle in the Advent Tangles calendar from MZ Creates. Um, I'll put the information in the description so you can request a free download from MZ Creates yourself. Today, we're looking at day 14, and we have this deceptively simple <laughs> flower tangle. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce it, but I'm, I'm just going to say Eofer by Iris Height. Um, there's only one, two, three, four steps, really. Um, and we're going to work our way through this together. This is another new tangle for me. So I'm learning with you. All right. We'll need our basic supplies, a white tile, a black pen. I'm using an apprentice pen again, a number two pencil and a tortillon. Uh, if you don't have a tortillon, you can use a cotton swab. And I do have a variety of colored pencils just to add a blush of color when we're finished. All right, we're going to start with uh, just a simple shape so that we can follow along with our botanical tangles today. And I think we're just going to do um, a basic curve so that we can kind of follow that and lay in our little flowers. And then we'll take our black pen and we're going to start with um, this basic stem shape here. So it's a curve and then a straight line. And we're just going to come up from here and just do a curve and a straight line. Doesn't have to be perfect because uh, mine's not. And then we're going to put in kind of like a flame shape. So put in a nice flame shape like that. And then we're going to come out to the side. And then come back down and then we'll put in another petal like that. And then we want one more petal because this tangle seems to have four petals. So we'll just come out and then go back in. And then at this point we're going to add a little detail just a line but you want to break it and then finish your line and then we'll do that for each one kind of like that and then each Paddle has some stippling in it. I'm just going to do that with the point of my black pen. And I think that's enough. Can you see the stippling? We'll zoom in a little bit. There, you can see a little better. All right, and then from there, we can just add a couple more of the eofer. So I'm going to put in another stem and I'm going to kind of lay it in here. So we've got that little bit of a curve and then a straight line. And I'm gonna rotate my tile a little bit and I'm going to put in my flame shape a little off to the side. Like that. And then put in my second petal. And then the third petal. And I'm rotating 
And then I'm going to add another petal. And yours might be a little straighter or a little wider or a little curvier than mine. That's totally fine. We all have our own style. I'm going to add some of the detail. And then the stippling. You can add as many of the little dots as you want or don't want. And I'm not making them very thick. It's just a light touch on the paper with the tip of the pen. And then I'm going to add another one. So I've got a petal here, so I'm going to have to kind of lift my pen up and go over there and then come back down. <clears throat> Excuse me. I, my allergies are, are acting up in December, which is kind of interesting. Okay. I'm going to put in the flame shape. I'm going to make this one a little, a little smaller. than the previous ones. So we're kind of, if you notice, we're kind of matching up at the bottom here with the petals as much as possible. Putting in the detail. And then adding a little bit of stippling. This one's smaller, so I'm not adding quite as much. And then I'm going to, I think I'm going to add one more, but I'm going to change it just a little bit. So again, with the down and I'm going to start with the same flame shape and this is a little smaller um, but this one I I would like to have because um, it's at the the end here I would like to have it kind of closed more like um maybe like a bud so I'm kind of improvising here a little bit as we go All right, yeah, that's close enough. And then I'm still keeping with the same detail, a little bit of stippling. There, okay, so we have a whole line of the flowers. Um, and we could maybe add one more. And this one's going to be even tinier. And again, I kind of like it to be like a bud as much as I can do. That's probably about it. So there we have the eofer. And then for interest, I'd like to add some, some leaves. So I'm going to go with my old uh, standby, the, the poke leaf. And that's, we'll start one at the bottom so you can see it better. You make a curved line and another curved line, and then add a little smile there. 
And I like to make my poke leaf uh, very heart shaped because I think that's very cute that way. And then I'm going to, from there, I'm going to add another one. I kind of like to continue on as much as I can, um, making it kind of go in a row. Add my little smile. And then my heart shape. And then I'm going to switch it up a little bit. out and then I'm going to tuck in another poke leaf over here maybe another one over here So at this point, you can add your leaves wherever you feel like leaves are needed. Uh, yours might look a little different from mine there. So wherever you feel like you need a leaf, um, you, you are totally free to add one or more. Yeah, let's see. Let's see here. Where do I want to add another one? And then sometimes instead of a leaf, I like to finish it off with a little curly cue like that. And we'll add more of these here and there. Just for fun. Because I really like them. <laughs> uh, let's see. And as you can see, I rotate my tile just to get a feel for where I would like to add some leaves. And let's rotate this around so we can see better. Let's see. Maybe I'll add some over here. Yeah, that looks cute. And then I feel like I should finish off this row. Let's go over here like that. I don't want it to be too busy, so I think I'm going to leave that like that for now. And I'm going to do a little bit of shading and then add just a blush of color. So I put the cap on my pen and I'm going to set that aside for now. And I'm going to add a little shading, as you can see in the step out, we've got shading on the stem and on the petals. So let's, um, let's take a look at that. So our stem has a little bit of shading. I'm just gonna add that to each one. And I'm working a little darker so that you can see it because I'm using the camera and sometimes graphite doesn't show up so well. I'm also gonna add some here because it's it's gonna go behind the petal. 
and this is at the bottom. So I'll add some. I'm going to rotate as I work along. There. Okay. And then we need some more right here. All right. And then we can add um, some shading to each petal. So I'm adding some where the petals meet the stem. And then I'm putting some, just a little bit on each tip of the flower. Oh, each petal, each tip of the petal. And then I'm also adding a little bit here where a petal goes behind another petal. Like that. And I'm going to do that for each flower that we drew. All right, let's see one, two. So now we're on our third one. And you might have fewer flowers than I do, or you might have more. Take your time. This time is for you. It's important every day if you can, to take a little time just for you. And I'm enjoying spending my time with you. And now we're at a bud and I'm going to add a little shading here. And at the base. And just a tiny bit on the tips. Rotate a little bit here. The same with this bud, which is even smaller. All right. Now for our poke leaves. I'm just adding a little bit of shading along um, each smile here and then along one side of each leaf and I try to be as consistent as I can so I keep the shading on the same side so we're kind of to the right and the bottom there so for this one I would still kind of keep it to the right, like that. So we do the best we can. And the reason I chose to put the shading on the bottom for this one is because I feel like this one's kind of standing up this way. And if the sun were coming down from the top, the shading part, the shadow part would be on the bottom. And then we just have this one here. So I'm going to kind of do that. Okay, I think we added graphite to each of our tangles. And at this point, I'm going to zoom out a 
little bit and I'm going to take the tortillon. Um, and mine has a lot of graphite on the tip. So it's going to actually um, make, make the piece a little darker. But I'm just going to start working with the tortillon to smooth out, to blend out the graphite. Starting with each of the stems. And then I'm going to go back, rotate back, and then go to each of the, the flowers. I'm going to actually start at the tip and work my way towards the stem. And then go to the next one. And then we're here at our improvised EO4 buds. Rotate back and take a look at the poke leaves. And you want to blend at the smile where we added graphite and then along that bottom there. And we'll do that for each one. Just taking our time to enjoy the process. As many of you know, shading's my favorite part. <laughs> I think that's all of them. Cool. Now, um, and you could consider this finished um, if we keep with the basics. We've done our ink, we've done our shading. And at this point, you could add, add your initials, you could add your chop, and you could be finished. But I would like to add just a blush of color. And I think what I'm going to do is, and I have a variety of my favorite uh, Prisma colors. So I think I'm going to take, I have a um, Prussian green and I am going to use that um, on the stem parts of the poke leaf. And I'm just going to do that for each one. I'm not pressing very hard because I don't really want a lot of color. And I think that's all of them. And then I'm just going to use the same color for the stem on the Eofor 2. But I'm at adding it even lighter than I did 
for these stems. So it's just very lightly adding the color. And because we already shaded, you don't need to add too much. There we go. So we've got a little bit of color there. And then I think for the EO4 petals, I was originally going to go with a pink, um, but I'm going to try something different. And I was going to go with a very light, very light blush type of pink. Um, then I'm going to try something different. I have um, this magic pencil. Uh, I have a set of these and they're kind of fun because you never know what you're going to get. <laughs> So I'm actually going to color um, these petals with this. If you don't have one of these, don't worry. You can use any, any colored pencil you'd like. And where the magic comes in is that it changes color. Let's see if I can get better light on this. This is kind of the problem of filming at night. Um, you can't see it too well, but I'll press a little harder and maybe you can start to see it. You never know how this is going to turn out because there's, if you take a look at the tip of the pencil, there's different colors in it. So when you start coloring with it, it, it starts mixing the colors itself. So you really don't have much control over it at all. Well, you don't have any control over it. So now over here, we're getting a lot of the yellow. And then now some blue is coming out. So it's it's a surprise every time I use these. And I guess that's why I enjoy them so much. So you can just see that, like I said, it's kind of like a blush of color is what we're adding. And then now we're here at the buds, so I'm actually going to press a little harder with these. And then I rotated my pencil a little bit so I would get a different color combination for this last one. So that's a little bit of color added to that. And then I have um, the poke leaves and I'm going to go with a really light green. And this is a 
what is it it's a spring it's a spring green so i'm going to add that to each of my poke leaf And again, I'm just adding a blush of color. If you want to add more of a pop of color, you can choose something brighter or you can add pressure and make it darker. We'll just keep going here. And then I need to take my darker green again, and I noticed that I didn't get these little vine areas. So to finish that off, um, and there we are. I'm gonna zoom out again. So we have just a blush of color and just two different tangles today: eofur and poke leaf. At this point, we can take our pen and add your initials, add your chop. Um, sometimes I like to rotate around and see where I would like to add it. I might actually just add it at the bottom here. So right at the bottom, I'm tucking it in. I almost like to kind of hide my initials in the piece. And then we can turn this over. And I like to put my name on it. And I do that just in case I give it away to someone so they, they know it's, it's for me. <laughs> and then this is the 14th and this was Advent Tangles, day 14, and then our tangles were, you know, fur, by Iris, right, H-E-I-D-T, and then we had Oak leaf, and I have to double check, but I think that was by Zentangle. Um, I will make sure to put that in the description. All right, and so we are all finished. Um, it's a cute little project. Uh, it's a little different. And another thing, if if you feel like you would like to add something more. You could add a little shading to these areas, but I kind of like it the way it is. So I'm going to leave it like this. Um, it has a really organic botanical kind of look to it. So I'm going to leave it as is, but if you would like to add shading, you could, you could do that. You could totally do that. Uh, thank you for spending your time with me and working our way through this new tangle.
Um, at least it was new for me. Um, and I, I've learned a lot with this process. So thank you. It's been fun. I hope you had as much fun as I did. And it's always a, a joy to help you discover your inner artist. Until next time, take care. Love you guys. Bye.